Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, we're recreating some iconic Kelly Kapowski looks from Saved by the Bell. This has been requested for years on this channel and I didn't want to do it until I'd actually watched the show because I didn't grow up watching it surprisingly and I binge watched it, you know, gotta make sure that I was picking some iconic looks so I didn't disappoint the fans. So let me know if you thought my picks were good. Um, I went with this polka dot number because I thought that was cute as well as the Bayside Tigers sweatshirt in green bathing suit. Those were looks that stood out to me but if you have more favorites let me know in the comments as well as if you'd like to see a part two with some hairstyles. Wasn't sure if that was something you guys would want to see because some of them are pretty out there but yeah let me know by giving a thumbs up and a comment that you want hairstyles too. And before I get into the makeup hair and outfit, outfits, uh, I wanted to let you know that I am working with Benefit Canada on this video and I have a really fun giveaway for my Canadian Benebabes over on Instagram. So there will be a link down below and you can win the Precisely My Brow in your shade of course as well as Gimme Brow. These are my go-tos for that natural fluffy brow look. And then I also picked uh, my favorite box blushes which you will see in this video. I love the new cookie highlighter. This is the cutest packaging ever. I already had it in the palette and I just had to buy it to get it in the box form and I actually use this as a shadow as well in this look. And you can also win roller lash because that's my favorite mascara. And if you're not from Canada, I'm sorry that this giveaway isn't open to everybody, but I hope you enjoy this video and all of the products will be linked down below as well as some of the outfits that you'll see. So hope you enjoy, thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and let's get into it. With any sun-kissed look, I love to use the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. This is hydrating, has a bit of a gold shift and a soft blur effect. And one of my favorite foundations is the Benefit Hello Happy. I get so many compliments on my skin when I wear this one. You've also seen this in the square packaging for a long time in my videos. So here's some new packaging and it's really light on the skin, yet gives coverage and you can thin it out and use it more of a tinted moisturizer as well. And I'm using the shade 3 here and blending it with this IT Cosmetics Press brush, brush <laughs> which is my favorite for foundation. Next I went with Drugstore for concealer. This is by CoverGirl and I keep grabbing for it. It blends really nice into the foundation. And Kelly's skin tone for most of my inspiration photos was a tan beige and a bit more cool toned. I applied this on the cheekbones by the bridge of the nose, chin, and jawline. Kelly has super defined cheeks and a stronger jawline than I do, so I will be adding some highlighting and contouring to help get this look down. I love this skin combo together, and one of my all-time favorite powders, but also one of the priciest ones I have, is by Hourglass, and this sets the makeup beautifully and gives a soft, hyper-real appearance, brightening up areas, um, especially if you bake it a bit. Baking has really never been my thing with powder. I like to just tap it over the T-zone and set, but I am going to apply more on the jawline to make it pop as much as I can. And I'm back at it again with the Benefit Hula Caramel Bronzer. I use this all summer and now it's into fall. I still have been keeping up my self tanning routine so I've been using this one. But in the winter when I do get super pale if I don't keep up my self tanning routine then I use the Hula Light Bronzer which is great for very fair skin. But this look is Cali inspired so let's add some of this deep rich caramel shade to start off the contouring while adding some sunny vibes. The new caramel and toasted shades are meant for deeper skin tones. They did extend their shade range but I really like this one on myself. I just have to make sure that I use very minimal product on the brush and really blend out. Accented my chin to look more like Kelly's and apply down the neck if you need to even out your skin tone to match. Time to contour the nose. I love the step and this was the photo that I was going off of because it had harsh lighting or maybe effects on it and I could really see the shape of her nose well and I just went off that. Her nose is upturned with kind of a triangle like tip and the nose bridge is more wide than mine and more structured around the brows and the eye sockets so I'm using the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder slowly just adding in the shape as much as I can before it looks too artificial. I will soften this up as I go but I did leave it here so you can really see the shadows I put in more easily. And to fade from the intense bronzer, I went with the Dallas Boxed Blush from Benefit. This was my first Benefit product that I saw at one of my friends' house in middle school actually, so it's just a nostalgic product for me and I love the smell of each of the boxed powder blushes. 
I'll show you guys two options so you can go with this blush alone if you like Kelly's more casual makeup and pair it with more of a brownie coral gloss as you'll see but since I think pink is just so Kelly add in a bright pink blush like this one from Milani if you want to go with this look Finally, the cutest highlighter from Benefit is called Cookie. Look at this. If you are a sucker for cute packaging, like you just need this one. I am so happy every time I grab for this and I mainly apply this on the tip of the nose for a tiny highlight here. And then right next to the contour to help pick up the light and give more of a dimensional look that really makes the contour look real. I also added a bit on my cheekbones and now it's time for brows. Brush up your natural brows using the spoolie, and I'm using the Precisely My Brow in shade 3.5, which is a neutral medium brown. I love this. It has been my go-to all year because I grew up my brows completely, so they are very full and have a lot of volume to them, but they still do have some sparse areas, especially in the tail end, and some areas could use more shaping like at the arch. So I love this fine tip, and I'm using Feathery Strokes to create a brow shape similar to Kelly. This brow pencil comes in a lot of different shades to flatter every hair color. It's super natural looking while also being waterproof so it's not going to transfer. And just a couple strokes and we have more symmetry to frame the face. To keep the look natural but add a bit more warmth through my brow hairs which are a little more gray than my actual hair color, I'm adding in Gimme Brow in shade 3.5 which is a warm auburn brown in this product and I love this combo together. Oop, blending out the contour a little bit. I do this throughout the video and another fun tip with the precisely my brow is It makes a perfect freckle maker just dot and then tap over with your finger to make it look super natural Using the Dallas boxed powder again, and I'm adding some warmth through the inner crease And often Kelly's makeup was more subtle and you could just add some mascara here or start to deepen it up for this eye look that is a more bolder Kelly eye. For this look, I am starting to create a sharper V shape. And then I'm blending that harsher line into the crease. And line with shadow right under the bottom lashes. For a pop to the lid, I'm using the Cookie Highlighter from Benefit again, and this has a golden pearl shade to it, and you can use this right on the lid and inner corner, and it's great for, you know, a face highlight or also a shadow. I didn't try it wet, but I'm sure you could get a really bold um, highlight with a damp brush as well. And now that we've got the base look down, deepen up the outer corner in that bolder shape if you want to, you know, keep adding the drama. I went with a deep brown eyeliner, you could use black as well, and I love these ones from NARS. Lightly line the upper lash line to help create the illusion of a thicker lash line, and then follow up with your fave mascara. My most grabbed for mascara over the past three years, I would say, is Benefit Roller Lash. I love the girly packaging, and the plastic bristles are my favorite for a mascara wand, because when I want to go with just a tinted lash look, um, you know, not a ton of mascara on the wand, it's really easy to remove any excess product and just give a natural sweep, and you get lots of length, but it looks really natural. We are getting there with the look. I wasn't sure which lip I was going to go with. I ended up smudging a pinky red that was similar to my nail color. And here I'm underlining my lips and kind of creating a smaller mouth. Finish off with a pink gloss like this golden pink lightweight gloss from CoverGirl. I'm obsessed with these bangs. Oh my god, and the makeup is so wearable while still being a bit glam and fun. I'm 
obsessed with these bangs, oh my god, and the makeup is so wearable while still being a bit glam and fun. And I'm gonna show you two quick hairstyles. The first one is more casual and quick, so put on your cozy Bayside Tiger sweater and part your hair to the side. I actually did the wrong side, but I like my hair parted this way. And I got these bangs for like $13 off Amazon. I'll have them listed and they're a bit too dark for my hair and they don't have enough natural highlights. So to make them look more real, I'm spraying in the L'Oreal Colorista in gold throughout and it makes a huge difference. To clip in, lift a section a couple inches from your hairline and clip underneath that section to blend the bangs in. Add a bit of tease and there's the casual Kelly look. Now I didn't go as bold as this iconic photo, but you can easily style these bangs to be teased backwards and more separated. Fake hair is a lot easier to defy gravity than using your own, so it's really great for this. To match this look, I went with just the Dallas blush without the added pink from the look before, and for lips, the Charlotte Tilbury Super 90s is a perfect shade, and similar to the CoverGirl gloss I showed, I went with a higher end option here from NARS, and this is one of my favorite glosses ever, it's super reflective and pretty. And from casual to glam, I added more volume and I combed back the side for this style. I DIY'd this jacket by cutting up the bottoms to this pink bikini to match the top. And uh, with lots of volume, bold pink, and bomb makeup, get your pose on. I felt so glam in this and let me know which look is your favorite overall for Kelly Kapowski. And finally, when I think of Kelly, I think of the green one piece along with so many other cute 90s one pieces, but this was a super close match from Amazon and I love the back of it. Speaking of beachy vibes, as you're watching this, I will be in Maui with benefits, so I'm definitely using my Brooke Shields The Blue Lagoon tutorial as well as this Kelly look for inspiration while I'm there. If you want to see the Friends with Benefit experience, check out my second vlog channel where I document anything exciting in my life. And let's hit the beach with my beauty essentials. Don't forget to come enter my giveaway Canadian babes and Benefit Canada has the cutest Instagram so be sure to follow to see all types of brow tips with a wide range of brow shades and styles. enjoyed these Kelly Kapowski looks and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pop culture videos every week. I've been doing a ton on my channel of like character recreations pretty much like weekly and it's been very taxing. Um, they have a lot of like detail and while I love doing them let me know if you want me to bring back in some of my own looks that maybe are a little bit more practical. Like I remember I did a tutorial a couple years ago that was like a coffee shop date look and I wanted to redo something like that, um, bring in some of my own makeup routines. So let me know what you'd like to see from me in the coming year. Of course I will keep up with the pop culture videos because they are my favorite to do but yeah I thought I'd mix it up a bit. Also, I love it when you guys tag me in your photos so I can feature you in my videos. So here are a couple of my favorite pics. If you are Canadian, don't forget to head over to Instagram to enter the giveaway for all these awesome products. And um, yeah, I think that's it for me. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Also, oh, I have merch. Don't forget to shop my merch. This is my phone case that I made. I love it. And there's some other stuff uh, that you can shop right underneath the description box if you're interested. And anyways, see you in my next video. <laughs>